Hello everyone, this is NS Alters, and today I'll be showing you how I painted this through the breach altar. So as always, we're starting off with a nice neutral gray background, but you'll see I covered really most of the card. That's because we're putting some original art, using a bit of a circle-y shaped circle to cut out a circle. It's really important to use templates for things like circles. I find them incredibly difficult to draw by hand. Uh, but then once we have that, we can start adding in the background for that, carefully painting around the details there. Horizon lines are very important to keep straight as well. So just using a ruler there. And now we're going to start blocking out the color. Now notice I'm being pretty loose here. The colors are really watered down. Uh, again, just putting things in their place and then we'll go over them with multiple layers. Um, some of which I kind of skip over in this video, but really just the point here is you really want to do lots of thin layers, especially when working in those backgrounds, especially when working on things like skies, because they need to have really smooth transitions. If you use paints that are too dry, then you're going to see those transitions and you're also going to see the brush strokes more clearly. And it kind of breaks the illusion that you're looking at something like a sky, which is very smooth and clean. Uh, I'm using a reference photo that I just have on my phone off to the side here so that I can really kind of capture the right colors of the ocean and the sky because the colors are quite diverse. Uh, you might think that water is blue, uh, but it's really not. It's all kinds of different colors and my reference specifically was more of a turquoise. So you can see that I worked that in there. And then here we're just kind of thickening up the sand there. But sand itself is also not just one color. It's very diverse with lots of rocks and pebbles and different materials in it. So I'm dry brushing over some brown in a few different shades to kind of just give it a more interesting texture. Now working on the ball. Uh, again, just looked up a reference for a beach ball because you got to make sure you get those colors right for uh, proper nostalgia. And yellows are really tough to work with. You do have to do them in multiple layers. Uh, the pink required a few different layers as well, so you can see me here kind of just reapplying paint after it dried. There we go. That's a lot better. So next up, kind of just going to blend the weird portal that the monster is coming through into the background. So using heavily watered down white and putting in lots of little thin layers, I kind of just stretched out the portal that it's coming through uh, and letting it dry, coming back with another very thin layer and just layering it on again. When you're working with whites like that and doing clouds, uh, layering on really thin white, you can get a lot of depth by kind of just working them in bit after bit. Same thing here with the shadows. So I'm using an incredibly watered down gray paint with a little bit of brown in it just to kind of warm it up a little. Uh, but just multiple layers, very thin paint, uh, very watered down. Uh, and then I'm actually coming through with a brush that is mostly just water, very little pigment in the bristles and kind of spreading it around. You can see here with the big shadow underneath the ball that I actually come back and sop up some of the paint. Uh, Watercolors tend to dry from the outside in, so if you were to just let it dry, you would get a really heavy ring around the edge. Now here you can see it's dry and it's relatively even. So I'm just adding some details, putting in a little surfer man, and adding some extra splashes on top, and then a dollop of dark for the shadow. Now I'm starting off the palm trees with a very dark green. This not only kind of acts like a primer when I'm painting over the text box, but also when I come back with the brighter green colors, I can leave a little bit of the dark green behind and that creates sort of a natural shadow. And then I don't really have to come back and texture it as much later. So first we need the dark leaves, then the dark tree trunks, and now I can start to highlight everything. So for the most part, just coming over with a flat green that covers pretty much a 95% of what I already painted just now, but you can already see that the shadows do come through and add a little bit of detail. And here's where I start highlighting. Um, I come back multiple times doing multiple different highlights. Each time you highlight, you're putting on less paint, putting on a tiny little bit of speckling, a little bit of glint from the sun. And so, yeah, just multiple passes. And then at the very end, I kind of come through with that medium green color again, and I add little striations off of the side of each branch, which palm trees, if you've ever looked at one, have, you know, lots of tiny little leaves sort of branching off of their large leaves, giving that texture. Now we're not going through the breach, we're going to the beach. So fix that up there, add some edges. And when you're at the beach, you gotta protect yourself, gotta wear your sunglasses. So just making sure our friend here is nice and safe. 
last step as always is to sign the initials and we're done. And there it is. One, no, wait, two, three. Oh, for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, a full play set of To The Beach. Get your sandals and flip-flops ready and uh, trigger Annihilator 6. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing or leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me alter a specific card. As always, have a good day.